In this video, we're going to take an introductory look at integers and absolute value. As we do, the first question we're interested in is what exactly is an integer? Well, an integer is a combination of all of the positive numbers, the negative numbers, and 0, because 0 is kind of a weird one that's not positive or negative. So you've got negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and all the numbers before and after those. With this idea of integers, we also can get a similar concept called absolute value. And what absolute value is interested in is the distance a number is from 0. So, for example, if we want to know the absolute value or the distance the number negative 2 is from 0, we put these vertical bars around it. Those bars mean absolute value, and that tells us that negative 2 is 1, 2 spaces from 0, so we'd say the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Often, people think about absolute value as just make the number positive. It's the positive version of the number. One more important note that we're going to come back to over and over again is this hyphen symbol often gets confused with its meaning. It actually has three meanings. We've already seen it meaning subtract, and today I'm starting to use it to mean a negative, but often it might be easier to think about it as just meaning the opposite of a number. It actually means all three of these at the same time, and so if it's easier for our purposes, we might switch the definition in a problem, because really all three of these mean the same thing. Here's an example dealing with a negative. The absolute value of negative 7, or the distance negative 7 is from 0. Like I said, absolute value often students think of as just make it positive. It's 7 steps from 0. Similarly, if we have the absolute value of a positive number, such as 4, we keep the number positive. 4 is 4 units from 0, and we're done. That's kind of how absolute value works. Another fun problem to play with with negatives is when negatives start to stack up on each other, and this is where it's helpful to think about it not as a negative, but as an opposite. Instead of thinking about this as negative, negative 6, Think about it as the opposite of negative 6. Or if I have a number line with negative 6 down here, opposite that on the other side is going to be positive 6. A negative negative, the opposite of a negative, is a positive 6. Let's try another similar example. Here we're finding the opposite of 5. Again, if I think about a number line, 5 is on the right, the opposite then, on the left, would be negative 5. So for this reason, we say that the opposite of 5 is simply negative 5. They really mean the same thing. Let's kind of take this idea and combine it with the absolute value problems. Here we have the opposite of the absolute value of 4. If we think about this like an order of operations problem, we could first focus on the absolute value of 4. Keeping it positive is 4, and bringing that negative down, giving us the opposite of 4, or negative 4 for our solution. Let's try one more as we kind of play with this idea of opposites, negatives, absolute values, what do they mean? Here we have the opposite of the absolute value of negative 9. Again, thinking about it like abs like order of operations, let's do that absolute value of negative 9 first. The absolute value of negative 9, the distance from 0, making it positive, is 9. And then we have this negative to bring down from the outside, giving us the opposite of 9, or negative 9, for our final solution big thing we want to remember as we introduce these negatives and integers, opposite, negative, subtraction is all the same. 